or if there's anybody even here, it's, it's almost 8 a.m. or 8 p.m., not a.m., but hello. Um, oh, there are some people here. It takes a couple seconds to pop up. How's everybody doing this evening? Um, this is predominantly going to be a, uh, a buy it now. I may have a couple auction items, but it's a buy it now mainly. So who's all here? Anybody? Why do you see six? The number six. Let me move back a little bit here. Can you hear me okay? Um, for whoever's out there, if you can let me know if you can hear me. I know you can see me because I can see myself. But I have the sounds <laughs> turned down, so I'm not certain if I can be heard. Okay, I see comments. Oh, well, I'm having a little bit of a delay, and it's on. Hi, Emily. Hi, hi, uh, hi, Adrian. Hello, Defleur, Deborah, Kirsten. Hello, Irene. Did I see? Am I at least? I thought I saw. Oh, I did see. Yes. Hello, I spy. And each other. Is that both of you guys and Cindy? And hello, hello, Lori. You guys can hear me. Okay. Look, look who the baby. Look how adorable. He'll be four months on the ninth. I put his cap on him backwards. It's a little big on his head. Hi, Deborah. But he's really adorable. He was very nice today. I'm I'm getting myself used to him. Um I'll be helping take care of him while my daughter goes back to work. Um he's really adorable though. But yeah, he's he's really cute. Thank you. Um hi hi Mary Ray. Did I miss anybody else? Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's been a while since a grandbaby. I've, I've my youngest daughter is eleven, and her nephew is he just turned. He'll be she just turned twelve, and he'll turn twelve. They're the same age. Hi, Gina. Yeah, I haven't. Um, it seems like we haven't had a baby for a long, long time. But I did get more items. Um, I'll get started in a minute here. I'm gonna wait just a couple of minutes. Um, you know, my with with the Hi, D. Yeah, yeah, he's fantastic. He's he's so cute. He wants his mother a lot, but today was pretty good for me for a considerable more time than normal. So I was happy about that. I got to hold him, and he was occupied on the floor and stuff. Um, he's still young. You know how it is. And he wants his food all the time, you know, and his mother happens to be his favorite. <laughs> so, but he let me have him for a while. And hi, guys. It's so weird not hearing any sounds. Irene. Did you find your tracking? I'm sure that's going on. It's working now. Lori, hello, Lori. I don't know if I said hello to you yet. But I'll get started in a minute. With my with my buy it now, I just need to hear a price. No once. Just say price after. Well, not don't say price. Say the amount. Like say say 30 bucks, just put the 30 in. That's that's the best way for me. It works well. Hi, Becky. But I did pick, I went and I did, I found more jewelry. I went out shopping at a couple of stores and found some other items that I'm gonna bring um that i am bringing today as well i have a variety it's um it's a different variety of jewelry um here and most of it will be or not if not all of it is buy it now i may have like one or two auction items um what happened to that okay. but i'll get started here in a minute there are 20 people here hi lizzie i can get started you saw the baby on um on Facebook, I showed the baby. Um, he's so cute. All right, let me pull Facebook up on my phone. Not Facebook, my YouTube, guys. Give me a second. Um, I wanted to show the baby. It's why I wasn't on it. Uh, now my video will be pulled up. Okay, there I am. Let me put it in live chat. I'm mainly going to be looking on here, but if I have to, like, silence any trolls or anything i will do that from my phone um so that's why i have it on but if, this is nice with the uh touch screen computer is pretty cool i could even type in if i wanted hi hi vanessa yeah he's 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 something else he's just really adorable i think that you know and it's not just because it's my grants <laughs> i'm kidding all right let me get started um i'll start off with something um look at him do i have any bug lovers in here pretty cool this is signed to usa on the bottom oh okay so um thank you they probably have more than me did tanya i thought tanya showed some of hers um gina i know probably has i had a lot more and i was wrong well somebody robbed me like years ago um so i lost a lot of it but uh yeah i've been collecting it up again 
They could do one. Go ahead and do one, guys. Um, I think Gina did do partial one a long time ago. Did you, Gina? Am I right on that? I can't remember exactly. Hi, Deb. But, hi, Tanya. Yeah, Tanya likes the Asian stuff. I'm sure she has some of that um, as well. I mean, I know she does. I think I've seen it in the background before, <laughs> like, or in the front. It was, like, in front of her on one of her videos. But with my buy it now, you'll just say the price, and I'll get started in a minute. Hi, Cindy. That's fun surprises. Um, most of you guys know, girls know her on here, I'm sure. But I have a variety of things, different price ranges. Um, some gold filled, some stone. I don't have any turquoise today or amber. Um, but anyways, I have a variety of different things. So I'll start off with this little bee. I am, this is a wasp, I think. Look, he has a stinger sticking out of his butt. See that? It's kind of sharp. It's, he, it, it's wooden. It's signed USA on the bottom. It has one of these, like, pull lock uh, pins. And it's wooden. It's painted blue with eyes painted on it. It's pretty cool. And I have to measure now. Um, I'm getting sloppy, aren't I? No, I just, I didn't measure ahead of time. A lot of people don't, so I think it's fine. Um, he's cool, though. He's little eyes painted on A little stinger in the back. And he's big like a wasp. Those are, I believe these are brass findings on this. You guys are all still saying hi. I'll take my time here. It's still early. It's only 8.05, actually. So I can afford to wait a couple minutes. But, all right. Oh, let, just let me mention, since I should do this, since this is a video that stays up. Um, hi, hi, Dawn. Hi. If you have never, um, if you see anything in a video that you want to purchase that does not sell, um, you can contact me at my email, which is scrolling along the bottom. It's vintage jewelry galore at yahoo.com. And I just need your PayPal um, email address, country in which you live in your YouTube name. That's for anybody who comes in while I'm here as well. If there's anybody new here watching that's never purchased from me, it's the same thing. You can still bid if you're not pre-registered, but I would like a um, registration like ahead of time if possible would be good. And I can even check for it. But um yeah, so anything that I don't sell will be available at the price that I give. Um, mostly everything, I think. If anybody happens upon this video that's new. Um, all right, let me get started on with the bug. Oh, really? Oh, cool. He signed USA on the bottom. This is wood, I believe, and it's painted. It's a wasp. It is a wasp, right? I, it's a wasp because there's a stinger sticking out of its butt. See that? Out of its butt last segment. Which maybe I shouldn't call that a butt, but um, see it? He's cool. And I gave you guys a measurement or no? <laughs> no, I didn't. I measured it, but I didn't say anything because I was started talking about something else. So it, he's like two and a quarter inches. Hi, Karen. Um, So if you want him, you will just say the price once I say it. No once. You don't just price I, it's easier for me that way. Um, it's cool. Two and a quarter inches. Cool little wasp. Signed USA wooden. I'll, I will sell it for, I think it's cool. 22 bucks. If anybody wants to just put 22 in the chat. Here he is. He's cool. He has a pin. See on the bottom. This is one of those lock pins. You mean this one or I have a cha-cha. A cha-cha ring on. Okay, Dawn likes this bug. It's a, I think he's a wasp, right? He's a thing. Thank you. Okay, good. Thanks. He's cool. I thought he was cool when I saw him. I, I had to pick him up. A calm wasp. You do love bugs? I do. My spider back there, I'm very partial to him. I really love when he's brass and he has to check glass on him. All right, so here's the wasp. Um... Oh, let me put him in a bag. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you, Dawn. I will, like, if I, I, this piece that, I'll bring this up in a little bit. I may auction these spring in this, I, I don't know how to date it even, be honest, guys, but I know it's old. All right, does anybody like, um, what's next? How about a little, 
little pair. These are really cool. But I do not... Let me wait on this for a minute. They're really super cool. Um, not that I don't want to bring cool things up now, but you know what I mean. Wait, so it's more people. If I get more. Um, Koi's and A, anybody like these little? Uh, I, these are really nice. These are, they're on a little card. That's what I bought them on. They are true Koi's and A, red and green and white. I The metal, I'm assuming it's just gold tone. I didn't test it. Uh, thank you. You know what? I think it pulls my face up, Tonya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I kind of feel like it makes my head look a little bit thinner and having all the hair around it. I don't know. Maybe it is pulling something up. That's a joke, but who knows? Could be. My sister come in here. Mint. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like it, it's, um, I like it a little better than the hair down at this point. Hi, Barbara. Um, so I did it again. Plus, I didn't have time to put all the treating products and everything in my hair, and I have a wild head of hair. You guys have seen it. Um, it's something else. Um, one and one quarter inch. It's starting to get like my mother's. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. So maybe it does because I swear it made my head look thinner and roundy. Just a little more appealing than all that hair on my face. Um, so I'll be doing it for a little bit. All right. Occasionally. These are nice. These, you know, little coys and eight earrings. If anybody wants them, I, I'll do them for 15 can you see that? Well, it looks like I'm freezing, like moving around here. You would just put the 15 in the chat if you wanted them. I don't like the way the black makes the jewelry look. I need to get a white one of those. These are a little cloisonnés. Why can't you see Emily? That's very strange. One of you guys have each other. Well, whatever. I'm not going to get into that. I don't know why you can't see her. All right. No, no interest in a cloisonne. I can, maybe I'll add them to a lot in the future. I thought they're, or I can wear them actually. I love red. All right, I'll pass on those. I didn't see anybody interested in them, so I'm not moving too fast, right? I mean, it seems to be moving pretty quickly along. Okay, so we'll move those. Hmm. This is cool, guys. I don't know, I don't see a maker on this, and I don't know which queen this is. But it, there, look. Copper finish. I'm not going to even call it copper because I do not know. But it's gold tone clamper. There's this end. You want to look at that. And it has, it is a queen on there, right? I don't know who. And I don't know if it's copper. Like I said, I'm calling it copper finish. Um, it, this is gold tone. I'll measure it for you and show it to you again. I thought it was cool. It's two and a half inches, so it's an average size, like up to a seven inch wrist, right? Let me take it off my wrist and put it on the white pillow. All right. It's upside down. Okay, so which queen is this, guys? Anybody know? Is this Queen Elizabeth or Queen Victoria? Elizabeth, you think? It's pretty cool. It's nice. It looks vintage to me by looking at the hardware, but I'm not sure. Um, Honestly, I can't say if I am or not. But anyways, nor am I sure if it's copper, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, this clamper, which is average size, I will sell for 25 if anybody's interested. It's pretty cool. It's in pretty good shape. I didn't see any fading or anything on it. You just put the price in 25 if you wanted it. Do you see that one? One of the queens are on it. Kind of looks like. They were trying to make it a coin, but it's not. Hi, hi, sure, or Cindy. Sure, hi, Tisha. You wanted Adrian? Okay, it's nice. It's nice. Maybe you can figure out exactly what it is, too. I didn't take any time. Why? It's a good thing about it. Sometimes I don't look. <laughs> it, I mean, it looks, it has a nice weight to it, too. Um, this is something I don't know if I could box to fit in. I'll put it in a small box, like small eBay box or something. It's, it's not chintzy, though. It feels, um, I didn't see a mark in it. I did look with my, uh, so I'm going to call it the queen bracelet. In case there's more than one thing in your bag, I like to keep track. Mm. All right. I have, okay, so I, I did, I like to do, like, one thing at a time, like, 
different type and oh these are nice look at these guys well is janda in here look what i have guys gina look <laughs> i have a, a panda did I, I just sold a bracelet so let's i don't want to do that i i am a little um I do one at a time, like different type of thing and move on like in that way. These are very nice. Look at these. These are like a faceted. I love these. Um, these are laboratory. They definitely are. I can tell. Look at them in the back. You can see the flash. It's not gold though. Um, maybe it's plated. I don't know. It's, it's not gold. It's probably just a gold tone, I'm going to call it. But they're pretty, and um, I thought they were lovely. I'll put them on the black. I don't know if I did errands. It really doesn't matter. I don't have to be all in order like that. I didn't even make up a sheet, guys. That's odd for me. I was I was with the baby earlier. And my daughter. And These are very lovely, though. Let me measure them. I'm saying they're gold tone. It could be gold plated, but I'm going to say gold tone to be... Always go on the under side instead of over evaluating it um or estimating what it's worth you know what i mean two and a half inches are very nice so and they are you see the flash can you guys see that well look it's very nice very lovely actually i feel like Yeah, they're nice. I, I will do these for, um, I'll do them for 30 if anybody wants these. They're very lovely earring. Emma Stone. I don't even know who that is. These are uh, Labradorite. They are cut like a, like a gemstone. The flash is very nice on them. The blue, you see that? If I don't sell them, I'll wear them. <laughs> I would wear these. Um, I think they're really nice. I like the different shapes, too. Of them. All right, I didn't see anybody come in. I'll wait a minute, though, because I don't want to rush too much. There's usually no lag for me on, the, um, on this, though. It's pretty good. I don't know who Emma Stone is. It's really terrible. I should know, huh? I don't watch enough TV. Okay, I'm going to pass on the Labradorite. They're really cool. They're very lovely, actually. Um, I, I might keep those ones permanently, to be honest. I really like them. I thought they were very nice, but I just picked them up, so I'm afraid to offer them. Um, la -di -da -di -da. How about these Roman ones, guys? Look. Now, these look like a Roman soldier. I mean, they are a Roman soldier. You can, like, see um, if light's up against them. Let me show you. I don't know if I have a flashlight. I'll do this. See? They didn't test as a gemstone. Hi, Donna. Hi, Carla. Hi. And in Sunday, Jen. Hi. I don't know if I said hello to you yet. Um. So you can see through them. I mean, they, they, they're not, they are not a, um, they're not gemstone. Okay. They're clips. I think they're gold plated. I was thinking they were gold filled, but I don't know for certain. So I'm going to call them gold plated. They definitely have a plating on them. They, they don't have a marking on them. They're cool though. Do you see the sol like the soldier carved in there? It's like a soldier carved cameo, I guess, kind of, right? They're carved in there. They're they're cool. I'll tell you how big they are. Yeah, thank you. It's a change. That hair's I the hair's a little overbearing sometimes. Um it's three quarter inches on these earrings, and I think they're really cool. I I I've had them for a while. I really couldn't find anything exactly like them. I will do these for um I'll do them for 28 if anybody wants them. I, I don't, I don't know. I think they're neat. Can you see his head? I'm sure you guys can see that, right? Oh, wait, I'm out of YouTube now. There we go. Let 
Oh, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I thought she was cool. She was, she was very look pretty, actually. All right, no interest in the Roman heads. Maybe I thought they were, <laughs> I thought they were better than they were. Okay, they're carved. I don't, I maybe I should have figured out for your gold filter. When I scraped them, they, they smoked. Are they gold plated, guys? Um, I think it means they're plated, so they're not. I don't think these ones are filled. But look, they're cool though. They love us. Look, they're they're red. But okay, I'll put those aside. All right. Now, what can I do now? Maybe I need to get something out that is desirable here. Um, and look at this. Well, not yet. How about how about this? Oh, you want to see that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a slider. Is Susan there? Susan, I, I missed you. Hello, Susan. I, you're up a little bit higher. I missed you. I, not deliberately. Oh, hi, Susan. Yep, Susan Powell. Hello. Okay. So this is yeah. This is adorable. This makes me think of our of the of Jane the Panda. Um, it is a lovely and adorable panda slider bracelet. Let me give you a measurement on it, and then I'll bring it back up. It's really cute. It's black and white enamel. Um. Like a breast finish. It's, it, um, I think these, when are these from the 70s, guys? 80s? I, I think it's 70. Seven and a half inches. It has a fold over clasp and it's seven and a half inches. And he is, he's adorable. It is adorable, not he. And there's more than one. Here, let me put it back on my hand. We've got the panda in different positions here. There are no rhinestones, it's just enamel. He's holding the eucalyptus and some. All right, so for the panda bracelet, um, let me put it on the pillow. I'll sell the panda for 24 bucks if anybody wants it. The slider bracelet, panda slider bracelet. It has the crescent lake moons. It's adorable. Okay, Irene. Thank you. It reminded me of Janda, Gina. Again, I have a thimble back there too that's a panda. It's pretty adorable. That's the first thing of tonight, right, Gina? I have Adrian, Dawn. And it's just those, just those two ladies so far. Okay. Thank you. I feel like it. I was happy when I found that. I was like, wow, it's adorable. All right. <laughs> All right. I have this, and I've offered this before. I'm going to offer it cheaper than I ever have just because it's been hanging out. It should have been in the uh, clear out. So this is a board. Jose Maria Barrera. It's not for Avon. It's the, it's not an Avon one. It's, um, it's just not an Avon one. I guess that's all I can say. Um, what happened to me? Here it is. I like this one. The jeweler up the street gave us to me and it works really well. All right. So it has the homework on the inside. You can see it and it's a clamper and these are glass cabochons in there and it's gold tone. It's not faded at all. It's in great shape. So if anybody, those are orange. They look orange, right? Anybody would want this Jose and Maria. Um, I, I'll do it for 50, which is a, a great deal on this. Like I said, it's not the Avon ones. This is Jose and Maria, not Avon. 80s, I think. I really don't know when it's from. I'm not going <laughs> to That's a guess just by the color of it and the uh, capuchons in it. I did not date it, like do the date checking on it. And they still make jewelry, so maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe it's more modern. Um, so I'm not gonna say a date on it at all, but their jewelry goes for um decent price, higher prices. The width, okay, sorry, day, that is important. Let me see. Um, two, I usually do it ahead of time too. Two and a half inches, so average size and nice it is a nice piece um it's well worth the 50 it's worth more but like i said i've had it for a while and i 
All right, so no interest in this Jose and Maria clamper bangle. Those are glass. All right, if anybody sees it and you want it to contact me, I'll have it. I need to put it that online. I, I'm going to work on 10 items a week up on my site, um, the site that I sell on, not my site. It's um, Aaron's site. Okay, so I have, um, <laughs> I sell on Mercari predominantly. I like it there. Um, look, this is really cute, I thought. This is a, um, obviously it's a dog. Look, it's just a little, he has copper um, and brass and steel, I guess, because it's not sterling. And I, I don't know if those are glass or gemstones. I didn't test it, but he's pretty adorable, I thought. Look at the, like he has a bone in the center of his body. I don't know if it's like, supposed to be in an x-ray machine or something this is a little strange looking i guess um but why not offer him um he's almost two inches like one three you have a, a necklace um that doesn't match that did i sell that i did i sell it to you or somebody else so how well, should i remember that i'm so sorry it's just been a lot jewelry for the last like six months all right if anybody wants this little dog they can have him 10 bucks i think he's pretty cool i don't know if his are gemstones it looks like amethyst back in there and the red looks kind of dark to be any type of gemstone i may have sold it to you if i didn't i forgot i'm sorry i my mind sometimes all right nobody wants to <laughs> gotcha. i just picked it up today i he was laying here so i picked him up um all right, I have I have a lot of stuff to show. Um, I have this. I'm not going to. Uh, I think this is coral, but honestly, I'm not selling it as that because it's just it doesn't test as glass on my on the presidium. Okay, but I don't know this. This does not, if this is not sterling silver, I can tell you that. I tested it. But this is, I'm going to sell it. I showed it last week and didn't sell it because I wanted to look at it further. But I'm still questionably nervous of saying it's coral because it's little beads that look like, oh, yeah, he, he doesn't have a marking on them. Um, but this has the perfume wand that goes in it. And... I'm nervous calling it coral because of the beads. I know they make coral beads, but I, I'm not comfortable. So I'm going to say it's glass. If it is coral, it's coral, and that is what it is. But whatever. There's It's a, like a heart-shaped kind of hair. Um, let me measure how big it is. The pendant is two and a half inches. And this is... Um, Like 22 inches around the neck. Let me put it on the neck. Um, here's what the clasp looks like. These are not sterling findings. I don't know what this, and this honestly, like I have to tell you everything that I see on it, right? That looks like somebody's glue on it that needs cleaned off, okay? Have to show everything that's wrong with it. If you don't, it's not honest, right? So you should let, you know, I try to let people know. I didn't acetone it. Um, no, Gina. Should, I know I should have. Do I have acetone right here? Eh, I don't care. Either way, okay. Um, I'll let, I'm just, I'm going to, hi, Thelma. Um, I get nervous with these little beads, honestly. I And, and then I see, I, I don't know, I didn't acetone it. It didn't show up as as glass on the presidium, but I'm not 100% trusting that thing either. So, um, okay. But I'm going to bid it. I'm going to auction it. Okay, this is going to be an auction item. I think it's rather cool. So, um, I will start it at, um, I'll start it at $40. It's a cool piece, even if it's not coral. It's still, a, but it looks like coral to me, the color of it, but I'm going to auction it and start it at 40. If anybody's interested in it, it is like a snuff. Somebody told me they believe this was, is a vintage, like snuff um, container. I called it a perfume container. Hi, 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 Doug. 
Is anybody interested in this thing? Maybe not. I'll retest it if I don't sell it and see if it actually is coral. It's definitely not sterling. I do know that the findings on it were not sterling silver. I did test them that. All right. I don't think anyone's interested in this. Um, I'll, re I'll test it and then bring it back at some point or do something or sell it somewhere else or something. I should know what it is. I know that, but I don't know. These beads, when, the people, when I hear they're coral, I just don't, I don't know. It's just weird to me. So, all right, I'll pass on that for now. Bro. Okay, let me see what else I have. Um, is there anything anybody's waiting to see or no that I have? That I showed. I have other things here. All right. Um, guys can let me know if you're running like short on time or anything. Anybody? All right. I have, um, this is a nice Monet. This is lovely, actually. It is. Wait, let me use this. Thing. Oh, I'm going to turn that, the flashlight off. Okay. This is a, um. It has the hallmark, you know, the copyright before it. This is vintage Monet. It's pretty nice. It's not faded at all or anything. It's a nice, uh, and it lays nicely against the skin. Let me measure it to see how long it is. Oh, I'm so hot. It's not even. All right, this is 17 inches. And like I said, it, it lays very, very nicely. Look, it has it's it's uh, flexible is what I mean by that. It's not stiff. It's it's made well. So, it's a fold over clasp. It does have the Monet Hallmark mark, Maker's Mark on the bottom. And. I'll, I'll do this one for 38 if anybody's interested. Okay, that's 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 why I was saying I didn't assume it was. That's why I was calling it seed beats. Yeah. All right. I mean, people do say that they're coral, though, that they've had coral like that. And I, it just seems odd to me. Yeah, because of the shape. I mean, how small they are, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's possible. Yeah, it's a nice fluid gold tone um, collar necklace. This is a 17-inch one. Here, let me show you what it looks like. It's really flexible. It's nice. I didn't see if it's in the book or anything. It doesn't test as glass. That's correct. It goes well above, actually. That's what made me question that it could have been, because it went up um, well above the um, the other necklace, that is. All right. I don't think anybody wants it. All right. I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to show this now. Yeah, I don't think they're glass. Um but I, I have to test it. I have to do the acetone test and stuff. When I could put it online, too, I need to start doing more of that. All right, so I have this um, bracelet. It's 800 silver and, like, there's the filigree-type work on it with these glass. These are glass. There we go. It, everything's backwards on here. And it has a... Um, There's the class. I'll measure this. I really don't um I don't know how to how to uh all right, it's eight inches, but it can be worn from seven to eight inches on this because it has the little extender on it. I'm going to stick it on the tiny neck over there and um or maybe on my hand might be better. It almost 
sometimes looks like it's brushed with gold, honestly, sometimes when I look at it. But that's just the lighting. I didn't know how to price this, guys. So what I'm going to do is... It's, it's vintage. I can tell that by looking at it. But at the same time... I don't know what to call it. I'm not going to lie. Um, so um, I was going to... Patina does it too. Okay, so this yeah, this one I is eight hundred, I believe, of Sternly. It's um, it's nice. It's like a lot of uh, filigree around. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna auction it because I don't know how to. Uh, I I'm gonna price it starting what I would be comfortable with. And if anybody's interested, they can say that price. If nobody else, you know, bid at that. If nobody else wants it, they can have it at that. So I, I would start this at, um, yeah, it's pretty vintage. Honestly, can't put an age on it because I don't know what it is. I'm not going to lie, but it is vintage and it's lovely. I'm going to start at 75. If this is an auction, so you would say 75 and go up. Let me show you the back of it again. Here's the back. Um, okay. It's seven, um, it can be worn from seven to eight inches, this, this bracelet. I don't feel like I'm showing it real well either. Um, a rough day today. Uh, it's hard. Oh, hold on a minute. My fingers. I'll bring it back up. Trying to close it. I barely have any nails. You can't even see the blue on it, like the lighting. It's on because it's on the black. That's a terrible like prop. It's glass, maybe peaking glass. It's not stone. This is glass, it's not turquoise. I mean, I don't believe it is. I'm thinking it's glass. I didn't see any, like, uh, mixing of colors or anything within it. All right, maybe I was too high on it. That's okay. I'll keep it for a while. I kind of need to figure out what it is anyways. I have no idea. I can find anything that looked like it um, exactly online. So it was hard for me to determine what it was. So I'll wait on that. Um well, obviously, because nobody bit on it. But, yeah, I, I need to figure out what it is anyways. Okay. All right. Let's now. Oh, Ugh, I'm so hot. I feel hot. It's, it's warm out. Um, I don't know what the ring is either. So, um, I don't know what to, what to call it, how to, how to start price it. I mean, this could be India jewelry. I don't know. It looks vintage to me. I just don't know how to, um... I don't know what to call it and how to price it. It's very premature for me to bring it. Does it say something there? Hold on a minute. Okay. I don't know. I mean, they go together, kind of. I, I'm going to hold on to it until I can figure out what it is. I, I don't know what it is. Is that maybe that's bad? Uh, hold on. Let me let me bring signs in. Bad for me to do that. I don't know. <laughs> Where's my ring sizer? Oh, hmm. Hold on a minute. Let me find the ring sizer. Wow. I usually am prepared like hours ahead of time. It's just not good. Um. Good God. What did they do with it? Maybe it's under hair. I don't even know where a ring sizer is. Um, I think it's like a six and a half. I don't, I can't find a ring sizer. It's really bizarre because I'm typically have it like right on my side of my table. Here, let me see what you guys saying. Oh, 
about the length. No, I was gonna I was gonna sell it, but nobody was interested in it, so I pulled this away. But I have the ring, but I can't find my ring sizer. This is a seven can be worn between a seven. The bracelet between a seven and an eight. There's the ring. Hi, Christine. Um. Yeah, I'll show it. I'll show it. I have to find the ring sizer, Donna. This bracelet that's between a seven and an eight. I, I don't know what to call it. It's filigree, it's 800 sterling, and that's blue glass. Okay, for this. Now the ring, good God, where's the size? Hold on, guys, I gotta find, maybe it's over here. I can't find my ring sizer, so. I should have been home hours ago, like getting myself prepared. It's not good, I'm sorry. Give me a minute. I don't. It's terrible. Come on, people are. I, I think it's like a six and a half. Okay. Spanish 800. Okay. There's the ring. I think it's like a six and a half. It fits comfortably down my finger, and that's what I've been wearing with all my swelling. Um, hold on, I can tell you even. Let me let me see. Look, I can do it this way. Okay, give me a minute. I I just don't want to tell you the wrong size, and then you buy it, and it and if you wanted it, and it not fit you. I don't want to do that to somebody. Um, all right. So this one here. Yeah, they're about the same. Let me see what this is. A six, about. So this is like a six, um, the six and a half. I'd say a six to be safe. 800 sterling, same thing. It matches this. I mean, they go together. You see? I'm gonna call it a six to be safe. It fits my finger comfortably. And I I'm I five and three quarters uh, for the most part call the swelling in my hands to like a six and a half usually on my finger. But when I sized it up with this, this was a six and they looked like the same size. Um I kind of paid up on these, not that that matters, but that's why the price was starting a little bit higher. Uh and and I don't know how old it is, but it, it looks very old. But anyways, if the ring, would anybody want to do them together auction? Probably not, or sell them together. I'd like to sell them together if possible. But it doesn't have to be that way. All right. I prefer to sell it as a set. I think that would be the best way, don't you think? It's it's a lovely bracelet and set. So I said I'd start it at 75 for that, but I'd sell them both for 125 if anybody wanted it. I, I think it's worth that. It's very pretty. And this will fit a seven to an eight. So it's not a tiny, tiny bracelet. Um somebody could manage it that doesn't have a size six inch. The ring's fantastic. Fits my fit, goes up and down very comfortably. It could be, maybe you put it on my middle finger, but I, I won't. <laughs> I may not get it up. Yeah. I'd sell it as 125 as a set. I think it's worth that. Or 75 a piece. How's that? <laughs> 75 a piece or 125 a set. It would, it's nice to keep it to set inside the ring. It doesn't say anything. But here. What do you mean inside the ring, Donna? 
All right. I don't see any interest. Um, I'll study them more. And yeah, I, I really like them. So why not? All right. All right. Let me get moving. Um, all right. Thank you. Sorry. Um, that was one I really didn't want to sell. I'm not going to lie, but I pulled it out. But I showed it, Donna. If you want it, you can have it. Um, I would like to sell them together, though, because it's a set. And it's rare to find something like that's inside the um, together. I found the, you know, where I found them. It's rare to find something like together like that. And they both fit me, which is fantastic. Um, I have this coin bracelet, the Mercury. Um, Liberty dimes and they these are real dimes because I they have the ridges on the side. You're welcome. I yeah, if I um I think they're too nice to separate too. It's it's a it's a set. Why not? I mean if I if somebody could get them both, they're better that way. So this is unmarked. It has a safety chain and a fold over clasp. It's not sterling silver. Test it to make sure. And you're welcome. Thank you for looking watching, guys. These are all dated in the 40s, and they do appear to be dimes. They have the ridges on the side. There are five of them, the Liberty dime. Let me measure this. It has a safety chain in it. You're welcome. <laughs> it's hard to measure that. I guess I put it together and measure it like a regular bracelet, huh? Let me see how it fits me. I'll just measure it like a normal bracelet. Give me, I'm sorry, one second. Um, I'm going to put it on. It may be, um, it's hard to get these on yourself without having somebody to help you. I think. Well, not really. I don't, all right. It's, it's kind of small. You see, I'm, I'm a, I, my wrist is, it's a six. And there's some space, so somebody could probably wear this up to a size seven. But if you want a little bit of room, it would be better if you're like a six to a six and a half on a wrist. I think it's a pretty cool bracelet, though. It has the dimes on it. I will, um, let me show it to you again. I'll sell the, this one for 25 if anybody likes it, the Liberty Dime. I, I didn't do my price sheet. I should have, but I looked it up. I think that's a good price. These are dated 1940s. I see, I see Kirsten first. And they are real dimes. I can see the, you know how it has that like stuff on the side. Hi, Brenda. All right. Thank you, Kirsten. Sorry, sorry, Thomas. It's pretty nice, actually. Um, so, Kirsten Ridd. I can just put Kirsten. I know who you are. Um, call it a, the, the dime bracelet. I've been finding things with coins on them at the one store I shop at. There must have been somebody had a, a little collection. All right. Thank you. I have a J, um, J. King Desert Road Trading Coral. This is coral. It's not a question in my mind on it. <laughs> Because I see his, his marking on it. You know, that little DRT or DTR. How does he? I know this is, yeah, DTR. It, and it's Sterling. Um, this is Sterling, the Lobster Claw. And oh, this I will let me measure it and I'll give you guys a price. I'm not going to try to auction this. I'll just sell it. Hi, Janda. I, I just sold a, a panda slider bracelet. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. Yeah, congrats. It's, it's cool. I got it for a really great price. Um, Myself, but here, this is a... Did I give you guys a measurement on that? They're from the 1940s, too. It's pretty cool. They're, they're, they're older. 18 inches. J. King Desert Desert Road Trading Coral Necklace Single. Let me see. I'll sell this for fifty. If, for fifty, if anybody's interested in the J. King Coral, it's eighteen inches and in sterling up the end. Hi. 
Hi, hi, Patsy. I haven't seen my sister. Um, are you here, Mitt? Does anybody want to Jay King for 50? Coral, maybe not. Patsy. My, I haven't seen my sister in here. All right, 40. I just, uh, it's fine. 40 would be good. I uh, don't, no lower than 40, though. If anybody wants it for 40, you can have it for that. If not, I will just bring in their time. It is a necklace. I just have it doubled up. It's, I keep on, I keep on getting off centered here. Like I'm going over to the right other side. All right, no one's interested in this one. Okay, I'll put that down. Let me put this ring sizer. Um, I don't know. I didn't know what to pull out next. How about a little um, screw back earrings here? These are Mark Sterling little vintage turquoise screw backs. These little things. It is turquoise in there. Let me measure it. Um, I'll measure it up done this way. It's about a half inch. I don't have to measure that. You see that? They're, they're not big. Um, they're about a half of an inch. And they are Mark Sterling. They're screw backs. These look vintage to me. I, I'll do these for 18 if anybody wants them. I need a better ring holder, earring holder. I don't like this black one here. I'm sorry. I'm all right. Here they are. Yeah, they're really nice it, little earrings. They um they have sterling just marked on the back there and they are screw backs the older like yeah they're not real big though they're they're like a half of an inch they're cold though i think can you see the color i feel like my lights in the black like die there you go it dies it out they're a um look like a robin egg blue turquoise there Yeah, I don't like the way the black looks on there. All right, we'll pass on them. I'm going to pass on those, too. I don't know what else to show you guys. Um, who, what, is there anything I showed that anybody wants to see? I guess I'll just keep pulling things out. That's what we'll do. Ivy and Klein, Vintage and Klein necklace. It's a nice one. It has a big toggle on it. This has the... Um, Aunt, signed Aunt Klein, her full name, with the lion on the other side, and the full name on this side, and it's pretty cool, it's put together pretty well, this is the back of it, it's a nice uh, gold tone color, I'll measure it, then I'll put it on the neck and show it to you, to you guys. Well, all right, so it's it's 19 inches, um, 20 down to the ball, but you have to go to here. It's 19 inches on it. I'll put it on the neck. It's got a good weight to it. It feels, um, it's, it's a nice necklace. It's well made. Look, there's, there it is. There's the back. It's in really great shape. I showed you guys the back of it, right? Do you want to see that again, the way it's made? Um, it's like a buttery gold tone color, and these links are pretty. It's flexible. It's not high barber. Bar, it's not stiff at all. 
So it's Ann Klein. It's, and like I said, it's got a good weight and it looks vintage to me. Here's the tag. It signs her full name with a lion on the other side. So <laughs> it's, it's twisted. All right. This one, it's nice. I would do this one for 30 if anybody wants it, the incline. It's in really great shape. Get a drink. It's like, looks like a 1981 to me. I'm hiding behind it. <clears throat> Oops. I'm toting it. Oh, my back is killing me already. I haven't even been sitting here long. All right, no interest in the incline. All right, I'll bring this back in a, and I'm I'm gonna pass on. I don't see any interest. I'll bring it back another time. It's nice, it's a nice incline. I like the big ball hanging off of it. All right. Oh, hold on. Let me get more comfortable. Hi, hi, Sally. Yeah, I thought it was pretty. Um, I don't know where to go. What to pick out. I don't. I just don't. Don't. <laughs> that coral. This is cool. This is fun. Eh, this is sterling in like. Do they call this sponge coral? I can't remember exactly, but it is. It's pretty cool. Look, those are sterling pieces. It is a stretch. If any, um, yeah, I'm gonna pass on that for now. All right. Um, hi Nancy. These ones, I think I, I said 18 on these. Oh, thank you, Emily. I got a super sticker. Let me stick you up top for a minute. Isn't that what you guys do? Oh no. I Oh, I put, there you go. I don't know how to remove it. Thank you. Oh, all right. Let me remove it. Thank you. All right. So yeah, these were 18 for these little, these screw backs. They're marked sterling on the back part there, which you can't really see. Any? Good God. I feel like I'm doing a terrible job. Let me move this closer, guys. You're going to be up close and personal with Anna. Um, <laughs> All right. I need to get a white uh, earring holder like this. Wait. Okay. I, I uh, like covered somebody up by accident. I covered Sally up by accident. All right. Okay. There they are. I showed them to you again. Yeah, they were 18. This is Carnelian and Sterling. Let me see. I think it says something on it as well. It says Sterling. That's what it says. I did test it too. These pieces are sterling. There's the hook. And there's that. Right there it says sterling on it. All these pieces in between, um, it's strung on this metal that it, not metal, but it's sterling. It's strung on sterling. And there are the chunks. They are like uh different shaped uh cornelian cubes, I'm gonna call them. Um I think it's a nice necklace and it is that's all sterling around there um i'm gonna double it up i know it's gonna be very short but just to show it what it looks like that those links are all sterling i'll sell this for 30 if anybody wants it you would put 30 down in the uh in the box just the price these links are all sterling silver Oh, what's the link? Yeah, thank you. It's 24 inches. Deb, you want this? 24 inches. It's nice. It's well worth that. Um, all right, Deb. I'll put it in your a bag for you. Thank you. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I'm glad I found something. <laughs> it's nice. Maybe, um, I have a lot more here and I can always pull more out. 
why not? You know, I, I get up in the middle of the evening and I find other things. I'm okay with doing that. Yeah, thank you. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, these are nice. Is, is Dawn still in here? Well, Dawn probably has enough heart earrings, right? Look, these are cool. These are sterling silver, guys. These weigh four and a half grams each. They are the Paris lever bags. God, I gotta stop doing that in my forehead. Yeah, squinting. These are like a knotted heart. Like a, you see what I mean? Like tied up heart there. Um, let me get another earring holder. I have... Look, these are lovely, too. I'll show those to you, ladies. And if there are any gentlemen here, um, I'll hang it on this. Okay, so these are hearts. Um, sterling silver hearts. They weigh nine grams combined. I tested them. I didn't see any markings on them, but they're definitely sterling. I scraped them uh, enough to make sure it wasn't just plating. But let me give you a measurement on them and... I've got to get myself some new earring displays. I don't like this one. Um, they're an inch. They're an inch drop. You see the, what they look like? Let me show them to you all. Look around again if you can see them. They're Paris Glover backs. They could use a cleaning. You see a little patina on there. They're nice. I think they're nice. They're at four and a half grams each, like I said, in one inch. So, if anybody wants these, I'll, I'll sell them for 26. You would um, say uh, 26 done in the, in the chat. Celtic heart? Okay. Like the, the tying, knotting of that is Celtic. Trying to show them, it's harder than it looks. It's like they're <clears throat> they're hard. Here we go. Does that help? If that doesn't, they're flicking everywhere. Yeah, they got a good weight to them. They said they're four and a half grams each. They're pretty nice, but you can like see through them. As you see, like, there's the front and the back. Let me show it again. They look like they're braided. They call it Celtic or Celtic. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't even know. All right. Okay, I'm going to pass on the hearts. They're pretty cool. I thought they were. Um. Let me see. What I said 26 on them, I think, right? Let me get rid of that. Okay. Um, I don't know where to go with it. Where do we go from here? Okay. This is nice, don't you think? Look, it's got a like an X on there, I guess it is. Silver tone, gold tone, and crystal pieces on the end. I did test it. It is not sterling silver. Um, these these are crystal pieces. There's one, two, three, four. And there's gold tone. You can see like silver tone and then gold tone adorned on there. Can you see that? I think it's pretty. Um, it's two and a half inches. Those look like crystals to me. Um, it's... That's how it fits um, on me anyways. It can be bent, I'm sure, but I'm not going to bend it. I don't know who the maker is. I didn't see one on it. There's the back. It's a nice bracelet. I'll do it for uh, 28 if anybody's interested in this. So it looks like. Um, this big pearl ring's kind of getting in my way. Let me take it off. I am going to take it off. Celtic. Okay. Yeah. I knew I 
Did I say Celtic? <laughs> it's a nice bracelet. I don't know who the maker is on this because um, there is no maker's mark on it um, at all, but it's a nice bracelet. You see the gold like outlining the uh, X here. I'm calling it an X. Is that a ribbon? And then these two pieces are silver tone. And when you go around the back, it has the little crystal pieces and there is some Gold tone decorated in there. Okay. I don't think there's any interest in it. I thought it was really cool. I'll bring it back at some time. All right. Is there anything anybody wanted to see that I found that I showed? Um, is there any interest in anything that I showed? How about this? Let me show this. I thought this was nice. It's, um, I like this one. This is seed beads, and um, there's some quartz down there. You see the black and white? Like, like I'm not going to put it on. It's too dark. Um, you see how it goes. It has these little pieces, but then it drapes. It's like a... It is a... Uh, Lobster claw clasp. I'll give you a measurement. I thought it was pretty cool. There are the quartz pieces there. Um, the it goes to twenty four inches, the shortest one um, strand, and then a five inch extender. It's in good shape. There's nothing like falling apart on it or anything. I'll do this for um I think it's nice. What is that one looks like? Hold on a minute. That one almost looks like a citrine in there, but the other ones are white and black, as you can see. I would do this at I don't know, $22 if anybody wants it. It's, make it 20 if anybody likes it for 20 It's hard to see, like, I can't really, well, I can put it on, see, it's, I think it's pretty. I don't want to get completely out. It's like drapes. I me, mean, ah, my, my hair. I'm ripping my own hair out. Oh, God, it's going to be out. Yeah, I thought it was cool. I liked it. I liked the way it drapes. It would look nice uh, over a shirt. Okay. But I'm going to pass on it. I don't think anybody's interested. Maybe I'm not. I think I'm showing the things long enough, right? I mean, it ripped a piece of my hair out. All right. We'll pass on it. Let's put it somewhere where it won't get tangled up. All right. I have, um, I don't know. I probably should have prepared myself a little bit better. It was a crazy day um, for me, like I said. I have, eh. What do I have? Eh, I don't know about that. Mm, I have this. Oh. All right, nobody else has said anything, so just say 20 bucks in there, Ashley, and it's yours. <laughs> if you could, just to keep it consistent, just whatever. I mean, you're the only person that said anything. I um I, I feel like I could have prepared better. Like I said, it I feel like you know how it is sometimes. I tried. Um, that's for Ashley. Okay, thank you, Ashley. Seed bead and quartz. These are quartz pieces on there as well. Thank you. I mean, I um there was a lot to do today. Like it's you know how it is. You work, you definitely know what it is, right? On your house all day. Um <laughs> during the week, you know what it how when you get like occupied or something else so hard for me but thank you ashley i have um i do have a, i have a lot of jewelry here but i don't know what to show next um does anybody know who lauren g lauren g adams is does anybody know her these are gold plated earrings i'll show these next let me show them They have the LGA on the inside. Let me see if I, there we go. It's right there. LGA, Lauren G. Adams. 
in it that says china thick and chunky all right um i don't know if i pulled anything out like that i might have something here the closest i had to that was dan klein i don't really know if that's thick and chunky though you were here when i showed that anyways i think all right so these are the lauren these are lauren con lauren g adams not conrad i don't even know where conrad came from there who is lauren conrad i don't know but they're nice let me show them to you um I'm trying to get them on something. They're pink and gold. These are gold plated. These are like a post pierced lever back. You see what I mean by that? Like this piece comes down here. Her earrings are considered uh, designers earrings. She has a website actually sells her jewelry. Um, on a site, they're really nice. Oh, the incline was 30, I think I said. It's a 1980s one. I mean, it's it's not really thick and chunky, though, I don't think. I don't know. It's nice. Um, I thought it was. It's a 1980s. has this big toggle on the back. has the lion on the tag. Okay, let me get back to these. Um, I'm sorry. I need to... All right, they are one inch... And these are nice. I would, I'll do these for 28. I've never, I've uh, had limited hearing of her myself, but I, I did look her up when I found these. I'll put them back up. The incline looks brand new. It's, it's like a buttery, um, gold tone color and it fits like a collar, but these, These are, they're gold plated actually. Yeah, Lauren Cart, you've heard of her, Dawn? She's, that's nice. All right, thank you. I can just put your name on the tag because I, I wrote down, I actually looked these ones up. Um, and I, you know, made sure I priced them well under what they were going for, <laughs> to be fair there. Um, okay, I have, this is vintage. I, it's cobalt blue. I'm, I'm not this look. It's it's very long. This is a long necklace. Thank you, Dawn. It looks a little brighter than it. I don't know. It's bright, but I don't know if it's that bright as it's looking. Let me see. Oh no, it looks correct on my on my phone here, but like on my computer because of the lighting behind there. Oh, good. I'm glad you like them. They, they're nice. I thought they were fantastic. This is a, it's long, it's, um, it's 52 inches, this one, and it has a toggle, breast toggle clasp on it. There are, these are separated by glass, um, the same color glass. Yeah, this is glass. Yeah. It's strung on, um like a thick uh a thick piece of like thread it's it's white it's not colored um but i'll put it on the neck it's 52 inches and it's like a cobalt blue of um of glass here it's not clear it's solid color as you can see and if anybody's interested in this um you would just i I don't know. I'll sell it for twenty six. You just put twenty six in the um, in the comment section. It's pretty long. It's over four feet. It's in pretty good shape there um, as well. There's none of the beads are missing or. And there's the barrel clasp. I think I called it a toggle. This is a barrel clasp. If I called it a toggle, toggle. You guys know that. But, okay, Ashley, you want this? All right, thank you. All right, let me find the tag. I have a bag for you in here. Okay, right here. I'll separate them. I don't want it to um 
you think French. Oh, I saw a collar. I'm going back on Wednesday. I didn't buy it. It's a collar made. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ashley. It, it's a collar made on um, mesh. Now, I couldn't tell if they were glass or plastic, and I didn't want to be putting my teeth on the jewelry there. I needed something to click it on. But I'm going back Wednesday if it's half off. Like, it's a collar that would fit and, like, drape over your shoulders, and it looked French to me. It was really lovely. Um, like, hand, like, on the piece of mesh, it had glass. I think they were glass uh, beads and, like, sequins, like, sewn onto this collar. Um, I'll probably get it on Wednesday if it's, it may be gone. <laughs> if it's there, I'll show it to you guys. It's fantastic, that thing that I saw. Uh, I'll show it to you when I get it. If I get it, it may be gone. I was waiting for it to go half off because it was a little high considering what I wanted to pay for it. But it's really lovely. I just didn't know if it was old or I didn't know what I... I didn't know if it was worth what they were asking. I have a... Okay, this is Bakelite, guys. Um, I can tell just by... <laughs> I tested it, too. It's just a little bangle. Look. Hearth. It's. I think it's. It's um. This was in my Asian stuff that I picked up the other day. Um, it's two and a half inches, and it is bakelite. I test it to semi chrome, and you can smell it. So just rubbing your finger on it. This one's uh potent. If anybody would want the little bakelite bangle, it is. I'll sell it for twenty. If anybody wants it, this is yellow, carved. Does not have any seams and it tests positive um, by smell and semi chrome. I didn't even have to heat it. You want to send this Bakelite to her? Okay. Yeah, just put put the price in just to keep it consistent. I don't, whatever. Nobody else wanted it. I'd like to see price. Okay. Now, see, that's where it gets uncomfortable. Because I say price, and now I have two other people pop up. That's why I, um, and I don't know if you were here when I was saying that. I'm sorry. Um, that's why I say, um, say the price, but I don't know if you were here, and I should be repeat. I think, did I say the price, guys? Just this time? I've been saying say the price just to, um, can I, can I give this to Lupe? <laughs> I, don't, I feel bad. I don't know if she just walked in, and I don't know if I said say the price this time. I've been trying to say it every time, but you know how hard that gets. Okay. So I don't know if I said say the price this time. Um, Lori, would you be upset if I gave this to her? I have a bone one in a Cinnabar, guys. I'll be pulling that out. Yeah, I I should have a scrolling thing saying say the price, I guess. I That's how I, just to make it, when there's more and more consistent, um, that's why I do that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, for now on, since anything that you want, you please say the price. Hello, Jean, and um, yeah, congratulations. So this is for this is for D. I don't have anything else for her, so yeah, I'll, I'll invoice you, obviously. Um. Thank you. Thank you for being understanding. Anybody, please say the price. You don't have to say want, just throw the price in there. It's, I don't mean to make it difficult. It just makes it easier in case I've actually had people fight. I mean, I've had people like, and then email me and upset with me and stuff. Um, have I sold anything to you before? I don't think I did. Have you emailed me, um, Guadalupe? Um, if I'm pronouncing that right, I hope I am. If you haven't emailed me, if I've never sold to you and I don't could you email me here? Vintage jewelry galore at yahoo.com. It's scrolling down here. I just need your, um, okay. You did. I'm sorry. You did email me or I sold you before. I'm sorry. I forgot. It's, uh, it takes me a couple times. Okay. Just right here. Okay. Well, I hope you feel better, Haley. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. Um, I, I feel bad when people get upset. Um, look at this, guys. This is cool. Um, and I, I will fully disclose what I see on it, okay? But this is pre, 
copyright Crown Trafari. It's marked Crown Trafari um, without a copyright. It's a food ever class. I think it's his early 50s. Um, it is a, it is a, um, yes, thank you. I put on there to send it to D. I'll, I'll do, I'll send it, um, you the invoice and yeah, I will mail it to her. Okay. This is convert, um, a convertible bracelet and necklace. I didn't look in a book or anything to see. I know it's prior to copyright, but okay, you're welcome. Um, Okay, look, let me show you. I have on this, it's a fold over clasp, and it is um, like brushed silver tone. You know, like the brushed gold, but it's silver tone. It has little beads in between each one. Now, on the necklace hair, it is missing a bead up here in between and over here. Okay, so the. God, it's backwards. Here and here, it's missing a bead, okay? It's cool, though. It's vintage uh, mid-century. And then there's a bracelet that goes with it that can be put on and made, and it's missing a bead. I have to let you know that up front. See that? There's a bead missing. Um, you can make this either weird as a necklace or in bracelet or make it a long necklace like this. You know, you can connect with this on her. When I bought it, these were connected together as one a long necklace. Um, there's the fold over class. And then this crown trafari pre copyright on that. Let me give you measurements. It's pretty cool. I mean, you can't really notice the beads are missing, but I need to disclose that to you. Um, just so you know, when you get it and it's not a shocking thing. Okay. So, <laughs> you know. Wait a minute, I'm confusing myself. Okay. Oh, no wonder. 22 inches, guys. I don't, I've never shipped to Australia. Um, hi, Judy. And hi, hi Mitt. Mitt Marietta. That's my sister. Um, her nickname's Mitt, M-I-T. Um, hi, I'm glad you made it. Uh, I don't know. I could ship to Australia. I could figure that out. Um... I could, yes. I don't know what the shipping's going to cost, though, or anything like that. Something I'd have to look into. I can't give you a price on that or anything up front, you know. If you've ordered from other people, you'll have an idea. But here's the, um, it's 22 inches on this. It's like, you see, layers. Two, and then a bracelet, which you can add on to the necklace. And make it a longer necklace if you want it. Or you can wear it as a bracelet and necklace. You can do that with most bracelets like this, right? It's just they had it as a long necklace when I bought it. So I was saying that this is 8 inches. So it could be a 30 inch necklace. Or it could be... Um, you see, there is the gapping there. Okay. There's two B. This is old. Okay. This is early. This is 50s prior to copyright. <laughs> so, anyways, I will offer the bracelet and necklace. There are a couple of those beads that I'm assuming they're glass because there's a couple of them broke off of it. I don't know, though, to be honest. Hi, DB. But, anyways, if anybody's interested in this um, mid-century necklace prior to copyright and bracelet. I will do it at... I'll do it at $30. $30. I think it's still worth that. There are a few beads missing, though, in between. It's not the actual beads on the necklace, but, um, you know, the little ones. Okay, you want this to floor... All right, it's nice. And if you're crafty, you could, well, whatever. It's it's just a very lovely vintage piece. Okay, I'll put that in the bag too. That's really cool, actually. I like when I find something that uh, vintage and I can actually identify that it is vintage because of the copyright thing. Markings on it. All right, so 30 for that. Trafari 
Crown Safari, actually. No, you won't be able to tell. Um, especially if you put it on a necklace, which you won't be able to tell at all. All right, I'm moving along. Um, all right, I, I already showed this, but I'm going to pull it out again, and I'm going to offer it. Did, I, did everybody see the J. King? Not that I'm heartless. Whatever, go back and look at it. I don't want to do that. Um, okay, I shouldn't be doing that. It's not fun. It's not fun. Um, what's next? Judy Lee. How about that? This is a vintage Judy Lee. It is J. You know who Judy Lee is? J U D Y Lee, not not cookie, but Judy. Some cookie stuff's nice, but um. Anyways, this is a vintage Judy Lee. There's the spring ring clasp. It's a double chain. You have this like. It is easy to date. Monet's easy too for me because I have the book. Well, not all of it, okay? I can't say all of it, especially the old stuff. I mistaken another pin for a Monet, and I was completely wrong. Luckily, one of the ladies on Hudson Vintage was able to tell me what it was, and I knew, you know, I wasn't sure. I asked for input, and she sent me exactly the, who it was, which was great. Okay, but this is in great shape. It's silver tone, like a brushed silver tone there. You have this leaf and tag, um, I mean tassel. I'll measure it. It is... It's 20 inches, and the tassel is for is uh from here down. It's four inches on the tassel and 20 inches on the necklace. It's double stranded here, and it's hanging funny. But I need a 13 inch neck, guys. One of these, you know. Okay. Okay, this is Judy Lee. You see uh, that? It's like, I. here's what the design on it looks like. Let me show you the back of it too, actually. Um, this doesn't come off. You might be able to pry it off, but I wouldn't do that. I mean, you could if you want. You could do whatever you want with it. I don't think it's removable is what I'm saying. Okay, this Judy Lee. I will sell the Judy Lee. I'll sell for 32. It's a vintage um, Judy Lee. Let me hang it on here. It's doubled up just so you can see what it looks like. Put the price in the, if you want it, you put, she can just put price. Vintage Judy Lee for 32, I think I said. I don't know how old this is, honestly. Probably, probably 1980s. Sorry, it's not a very good picture of it either. I was just trying to show the tassel. Oh god, I'm hungry. It's terrible. It's late. Well, it's only 9:30. I'll probably eat raisins or something. All right, no interest in Judy Lee. I don't know if I showed this last week. If I could, I'm, if I did, I'm sorry. I could not remember if I pulled it out or not. So I'll pass on it. If I did show it, sorry about that. Um, How about, I have a cameo here that I think it's a lovely one. She's left facing. And she's brass. I, this is brass, I believe. Um, It's not gold or silver, so I'm calling it brass in... She's left facing. She has a flat nose and her hair is pulled up in a stout, but it's not a ponytail. Um, I think it's 1920s, 1930s. See its shell. It's raised like there. What did that say? I am hungry. I didn't eat much today. She's lovely. Look at her face. It's a nice, it's a nice cameo. Um, I have her upside down. Her nose is flatter. She's, you know, 1920s or 30s. She's older. Um, the older ones are flatter. They start turning them up like later. Um, and she's left facing. So I'm going to auction this. I'm just going to start it at a price that I think um, is okay. And hopefully it is. If not, then there will be no interest in it. 
I'll start it. All right, let me measure it for you. I'm going to auction it in case just to see what happens. It's not gold, though. This is not gold. And it's not sterling. And those are um, like a little faux pearl going around there. She is beautiful. She, some of them you see are not too lovely. This is a was a beautiful woman that they carved this from. She I, maybe oriental. I don't know. See her eyes. She's very lovely. And her hair is up in a style. Um, okay. So I'm going to start it at 50. If anyone's interested, you can put 50 in. And it's a bid. I'm going to bid. I'm going to auction it just to see how it goes. It is brass. Here's the back. You have this hook. Little hook there. And it is, it is that class, the fold over. And there's that part. I, this is 20s or 30s. And I think she's lovely. She's a carved shell. She's raised. Let me see. A lot of them are in gold or, or sterling. This one is not, obviously. They didn't make all cameos in gold or sterling, though. And she is. She's just, she's actually lovely. Some of them look a little not so pretty. <laughs> like, I was looking them up and, like, a lot of the old, like, some of them are just, well, not every, she must have been beautiful. That's all, I guess. <laughs> or it was a good, whoever carved it did a great carving. But she does have the, I think she may be oriental. By your eyes. I don't know though. Who knows? Not real pearls, but yeah. Those are they're not real. I don't believe. All right. I guess I'll be keeping that longer. I really like it. I do like it. I showed it in my preview though. So um I offered it, but yeah, she's beautiful. Look how like her breast, like it's it comes out like on the show. You see that? It's like that's her chest down here. I was starting it at 50. It's a fantastic pin. It's worth more than that, I think. At least to me, because I love it. But she has her breast is coming outwards. See that? It's cool. I don't know if that was like how they managed to do that. What do they do with the shell? Or is that just how they happen to carve it? No, I said 50. I wouldn't start this at 30. Um, $50. Not, not 30. And I'm not typing it in. I'm sorry that I'm not. I'm a little lazy with that. Yeah. But okay, I'll pass. I'll hold that back. Um, I, I love it. I think it's fantastic. Um, all right. I don't know what else. I have a lot more stuff to show. How about how about a little cinnabar? Yeah, 50. A cinnabar, um, I'll reprice it and revisit that later. See if maybe, maybe I have to research or more. But this is a little cinnabar bangle, okay. Um it's a little simple bangle. Let me see. It is like two and a half inches. Anna. Yeah, Amy. Amy's my nickname. Okay. Family nickname. If um my dad called me that. But yeah, Anna here. <laughs> it's my real name. All right. If anybody wants a little Cinnabar, 15 bucks for this. It's cool. It's carved. Yeah. Yeah, she was pretty. I thought she was pretty too. All right, Jeannie. I guess I guess I could stop moving it so much. Thank you. Or wait, who was first? Haley was first. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is real cinnabar too. I um, I'm sorry, Jane. I'm, I see Haley first. Um, yeah, it's it's accurate on here. Oh, um, fifteen for the little bangle. I don't know how old it is, but it is. I, I think it is. I didn't I have a bag for Haley. I do. Right? Oh no, Haley just got her. I didn't. Wait. Let me make sure. That's Stones and Adrian, Irene, and Deb. Who's this? 
Kirsten. Okay, it's Kirsten. I was thinking um, her bag. I don't know why. That's really weird. <laughs> it was like another one laying down her. Okay, thank you. Congrats. It's it's nice. I just showed that in my Asian video. I have a bone one too. You guys want to see that? Um, I'm pretty certain it's bone. Um. I don't know. Look at it, guys. It's carved. Can you see that? Let me take a big... Look, I have a pearl cha-cha ring. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I don't... I hate... I, I sometimes have a hard time telling Boone from a celluloid but this is a hard substance whatever it is a hard um maybe i shouldn't sell that i seriously don't want to sell something i don't know what it is um oh this do you want this with your uh it's just a regular bangle do you want this with the bake light whoever i sold that to it matches it i'll put that in her bag if she doesn't want it she can do something with it <laughs> she may want it um what else do I have? These are faint. Look, I have this little, um, this is cute. Look, it has a nice little, looks like a vintage class. These are strung on silk and they are, um, porcelain, blue and white porcelain, a necklace, simple little necklace. I'll measure it, then I'll show it to you again. Um, it's 22 inches. That's what it looks like, you see. It's knotted in between and strung on the silk. Um, if anybody, and there's the, the clasp again. It's a box clasp. It's not gold. It's gold tone. If anybody wants this, I'll, I'll sell it for 20 bucks. You would just put the price in there, $20. I think it's cool. Yeah. Good God. It is Chinese or Japanese. I have to say that I, either one, I can't remember which one. Okay, Haley, you want that? All right, thank you. It's nice, congrats, thank you. It's, it's a nice, it's a nice quality one. Not certain how old it is. Um, class looks vintage. Okay. Oh, my back is killing me. Um, let me finish your bag. Okay. All right. Is there any? I have this. That one I think's bone, but I I am afraid to call it that. <laughs> I really am. I hate to admit that. I I don't know what it is for sure. All right. God, that's fantastic. I look at this, guys. I can see a mark on this. So I was thinking it was going to be like a, um, look at the, the whole, these little pieces here, like remind me I have a Tara necklace and it looks like that, but there's no marking on this. Um, Tara's over there in a the container. Um, but this is lovely. This is, um, can't remember. It's, these are crystal and lovely ones. I've sold a few of these already to people. Um, look. Look at the colors. Look at, oh my god, look at that. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Um, it's lovely. No, it really is. Um, put it over my head. It's fantastic. Let me give you the measurements on it. Um, It's short. Okay. It's a shorty. It's a choker. It's 15 inches. And it's fantastic. It's definitely vintage. Can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, these are nice. So this is a nice, nice one. Um, this isn't just a basic one. Um, like the basic clear color one. These have a darker, I don't know, whatever. I have no idea what it's called. Can't remember. But look how fantastic that is. Wow. 
All right. Um, look at that. All right, let me measure it again. I'm like, look at that. I'm like mesmerized with it. It's fantastic looking, I think. It's absolutely beautiful. Do I have any of the glass ladies here? Any of the glass ladies? Yeah, it's a short one. Um, It's a choker. Let me measure it again to the shortest, guys, just to make sure. Um, I don't want to like, give you the wrong measurement. And it's, if somebody would buy it, they can't fit it. Okay, because that's not a good thing. I've had that happen to me enough times. The longest it can go is... Um, yeah, 15 inches. So you can wear it at 14 inches on your neck. If you're a thinner lady, you can wear it tighter than that. There's some girls with smaller necks than that. Um, okay. I'm sorry. I'm like, can't stop looking at it. Like, I think it's fantastic. There's the back. It has, it doesn't have any markings on it that I could see. But anyways, this one. I, I do this for 42 if anybody's interested. I think it's well worth that. So 42 for this one. You would just put 42 in there? Yeah. Dawn, what is this called? <laughs> no, it's crystal, right? This is just crystal um, with some darker AB on it. I mean, it's a fantastic necklace. I'd wear this at least once if I had somewhere to go. Who knows? I may wear this when I go to the Van Gogh exhibit. <laughs> me down there if AB's on. I think it's fantastic, but 42. If no interest, that's okay. You know, I'll, it's one that I may hang up and or lay in my room in the jewelry drawer. And um I filled a chest of drawers up with um with some of my jewelry and I have drawers on the top of the dress dresser with velvet in them. Can you see it? Am I moving too much? It's lovely. They're different. Are they graduated? Yeah, they get bigger as you go down. Graduated in size. I think it's really nice. I really like it. Light virtual. Vir oh. Okay. I sold a dark one like that. Um. Yeah, I really think it's fantastic. Um, I, I may put this in my in my drawer and keep it for a little while. Okay. I had a dark one that I sold, um, sold at your... Remember when I was on your channel, I, I sold a dark one. I sold a couple and I sold a medium one too. And for hot, much higher than that. Um, but that's a, I'll keep that one for a while. I think it's great. Um, I do love AB Crystal. All right, let me move on. <laughs> I have gold filled earrings. Is anybody interested in those? E pearls? How about E pearl earrings? These are. Someone asked what? Is it smoky? Um. They're they're like um. Yeah, uh, it's hard to explain. Um. You see the different colors on them? Come on, hold on. Sorry, I'm I'm backward. There, there's. It shines off different colors, like a blue, a gold, um, 42, I said for this one. It's fan it's, it's lovely. Vintage necklace. Here's what the clasp looks like on it. It has, you know, that hawk, Jayhawk, shepherd hawk. And, um, it's a coating that they put on it. Yeah, I, I said 42 on this one. But here it is. Um, I can remember that, what I said on it. Or did I say 40? Maybe I said 40. Whatever, it's only $2. Um, 40. If anybody wants it. It's lovely. And, um, that's a coating over that. I believe. Let me. Well, they kind of look darker, but yeah, I think so. All right. Let me move it now. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty nice. 
Okay. All right, guys. If anybody wants to, you know how to contact me. Um, if not, I'll put that in my jewelry box. You want that, uh, sir, sir? I've never sold to you before, sir, sir. Right? Oh, my God. I thought it broke. It didn't. <laughs> no, it's sturdy. This is not close to breaking. Okay. Um, sir, sir, if you could email me. I don't think I sold you before. You're the one that gave me some useful information on the rhodium plating. Thank you very much. I remember you. But um, email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com uh, with your, um, I just need your PayPal email address, the country in which you live, and your um, YouTube name, you know, because so I can compare it against your real name, just so I know who you are. But okay, it's lovely. Congratulations. I don't need it in my box. I have a nice long one that looks similar to that. So this one's very lovely, though, because it's uh, tear like different layers. So. And I'll find another one. I'm always on the hunt. <laughs> okay, thank you. And congratulations. So it's, it's really lovely. The clasp, the uh, the ends on it that are holding it, anchoring it on the clasp, whatever you call it, or um, I don't know, it looks designer almost, but it has no markings on it. Hi, Steph. Or Steph sells stuff by the seashore. I like to be at a seashore. It's been years for me. Yeah, hey, you're welcome. It's be it's really lovely. I always pick those up if I see them. Um, all right, I have e-pearl earrings if anybody wants to look at these. That's the brand on these. Um, I did do a quick look up. If it is a copyright, then capital E and then capital P-E-A-R-L-E. -E. Some of you who know your jewelry probably know this um, better than I do. They're lovely. I think they're crystal. I can't tell. Crystals or rhinestones. Let's see. They're nice. They look gold-plated. I don't. We're just going to call them gold tone because there's no marking saying they are. These ones are, there's the hallmark, the copyright. Irwin Pearl. Okay. Oh. How much they worth on? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll put a price on them. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. I, that's why I didn't find that many of them. I didn't type the whole name in, huh, guys? Um, I've never heard of them before. I'm like, I can't find that. Okay. One inch is and lovely. Look, they're they're good. They're clean, unscratched, in gold plated. They look like it. Okay, and cr they look more like crystals and rhinestones to me. I know they're not diamonds. If they were, uh, I wish they were. Okay, they wouldn't put diamonds in gold plated, right? And they, they would be pronged. Well, at least in the. I don't know. Okay, so if anybody wants these ones, um, I'll do them for twenty eight. I'm sorry. You can't stop eating. I'm really hungry. I'm ready to go get raisins, but I don't think you guys want to see me um, eat. Sorry, let me hold them still. I'm going to put them on my fingers. Or here, on my... I have very tiny ears, guys, but they're, they're average size. They're an inch. I told you how big they were. You know how big an inch is on your own ears, right? They're lovely. I don't even know what that is. Chella toast. Is it good? I could go for some uh, peanut butter toast. I'm really hungry. All right, 28 on these. If nobody's interested, we'll pass. I'll bring them back at a different day. Maybe these will come to the uh, clear-out sale. I'm doing a clear-out sale. Like, I don't know exactly what day. Maybe the last uh, Friday of the month. <laughs> early. Early morning, so I don't interfere for anybody else that I know comes on all right nobody wants these ones okay i'm gonna have to look them up as earl pearl i mean earl Irwin pearl okay they're nice they're nice earrings i did eat a little bit of potatoes and carrots right before i came on but i'm hungry how about i'm not gonna starve if you looked at my physique no i'm joking <laughs> anna's not starving I need to not eat, but it's hard. This is Crown for Fari with no copyright on it. Hmm. Whatever that means. Um, I know what that means here. 
There's the back. <laughs> and the front. These are acrylic. I'm not really, honestly, so I don't, they look like thermoset, you know what I mean? Like that. I will in a minute. I might go grab my raisins. I hate to chew right on the middle of the camera, though, but. It's two and a quarter inches, guys. And it is Crown Trafari. And it doesn't have to copyright on it. This just looks, um, I don't know, it looks like 1950s or so anyways, right? I don't know when the thermoset was being used. This is definitely acrylic, I can tell you that. It's cool, and it's pretty big. Oh, I didn't put a price on this yet. What did you say 20 on? What, I didn't say a price on this. What did I? I said 28 on, the, on the, these. Do you want these? I didn't give a price on this yet. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking about. It's a vintage crown for Fari prior to copyright. So, did you want these for 28? Is that what you're, the Irwin Pearl? Let me put a price on it, and then if you want it, you can put the price in. Crown Trafari prior to copyright. Um, let me, I will, this is, this is, a. I, I'll do this at 30. This is worth 30. Let me hang it on a pillow for you. A Coke. I have Coke. I, I shouldn't, there, can you see? No, oh God, what, not a very good move there, huh? Here, let me stick it on here. What, does anybody want it at 30? It's Crown Trafari prior to copyright. That means prior to 1955. That's when the copyrights occur. If you do not know. Oh, it rewinded. Okay, okay. What was the 20 bucks? Did I sell you something for 20? If not, did you miss something? Is there something you... <laughs> I don't remember when I put it 20. Or maybe it was another chat. I think uh, this is Laura's on tonight. I know that. That's the only person I know of that's on. Okay, nobody wants to crown for Corey. Oh, my God. Yeah, I get this pain in my abdomen when I sit too long. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. And I do believe it's thermoset. It's, like, got a pearly shine to it on it. Look. It's, like, two and a quarter inches. All right, we'll pass on that as well. What's next? I can pull any more Trafari out. I have more, believe it or not. It's just like an abundance of Trafari. Um, I, um, eh. let me see. Uh, oh, God. All right. That's more Trafari. I have, um, <laughs> I have like a handful of Trafari hanging out here. Um, and a little bit of Monet. I have this. This is a, I, let me look at the part. It's my, this is Monet, I believe 1980s. It's silver tone. It's like, let me measure it. Oh, oh, I'm trying to open it on again, aren't I? Where's it? Yeah, I was. I was opening on a piece that doesn't open, guys. Yeah, I'm busting sweat here. Can you tell? I think the lights are starting to make me hot. Like, this is 16 inches. It's a fold over clasp. It's a Monet. 16 inch um, choker, that's what they call this. Necklace. It's silver tone. Here's what the back looks like. My camera like adjusts itself to lighting. Weird. You see the links back here? It's pretty well made. It's a Monet choker. Um, I don't know. If anybody wants it, 20 bucks. Monet silver tone, uh, 16 inch necklace. Maybe I should put this on the pink. The pink's small. It's a small neck. I didn't realize how small. Oh, it fits. Look. 
It really so it's smaller than normal though. You want this one, um, Sally? I don't think I've ever sold you before. Yeah, it goes darker and gets lighter. Like when I, it's trying to focus on something. It's it's just it's a it's a nice it's a nice laptop, much better than what I was using before. Okay, thank you. Can you email me? You know what to do, right? Just your PayPal. And um, I've I've had emails from you before because I bought off you, but I've I've never sold to you before. But thank you, thank you, Sally. Vintage Discoveries. I think most of you guys know who she, she is. Um, okay, thank you. It's nice. It's a nice one. It's in good shape too. There's no fading or scratching on it to make took good care of it. Hot. I'm talking about stuff in a, what is that, third person Anna's hot. Uh, I have this, guys. Let me just show you it and see what you'll think. Now, sometimes it baffles me whether it is amethyst or, um, yeah, it's, it's a well-made necklace. Th thank you, Sally. Sorry, I gotta look at it. Looks like garnet. I could stick it on a proscenium. It's garnet or amethyst. It's definitely stone. Okay, I can tell you that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it looks like garnet too. It's very red. You see that? Sometimes it's hard to tell because it does look clearly red. There, are, there's tiger eye on this bracelet. Crystal, and then. A bunch of freshwater pearls, different colors. Look at them. Different shapes. And you see the tiger eye and the garnet. And then you have, it is a total of six strands. Four strands of pearls, different colors. And a garnet strand and a tiger eye with crystal. And it's it's got a safety chain on it. Look, it does not come off. And it's magnetic. I think somebody made this handmade, homemade. Pretty cool. It's easy to put on. Look at this. It's remarkably easy to put on. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, I think it's definitely garnet, too. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell, but this one's really red. Oh, there's somebody on here harassing me. Not harassing me. It's one of those bots. Let's move on if I can. Okay. Yeah. I think it's nice. Um, you have the tiger eyes nice on it. Um, see it. All right, in the garnet. But anyways, it is. Oh, I was not making it in it to right. I was doing it backwards. I don't know. I'll sell it for 24 bucks if anybody wants it. Um, I think it's worth that make it 20 just 20 if you want to say 20 bucks the pearls are i mean they're real these are freshwater pearls they're different shapes as you can well not that that is going it but different colors they're not dyed as far as i can tell i don't know they could be I can't say the pearls are not dyed, honestly, to tell you the truth. At least, like, the gray ones. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of cool. Somebody put this together out of... Eh, I don't know. Maybe it matched with something. All right, I don't see any interest in it. I'll lay it over here. I thought it was kind of cool. The pearls are a little flat, though. Um... Yeah, yeah, it's hard getting bracelets on some of them. I have a hard time. Necklaces are easier. This is cool. This is a rose quartz. It's like wrapped in sterling and has a little garnet in the front of it. I like that. Um, but yeah, I have a hard time getting them on. All right, what's next? How about uh, little gold filled earrings? Anybody? Let's see if I can get any interest in these. These are real pearls on here, and they are gold filled. They're mark one. 20th of 12 carat gold filled 120 1 slash 20 12 carat and i think they're really cute they are like a half of an inch see how the i 
All right. I, um, they're screw backs. They could use a cleaning. Um, they say one that gold filled back there. Put them together. These are gold filled. I'll sell these for for twenty four. If anybody's interested, they're about um half of an inch. Here's our little pearls or we're on there. Yeah, they're hard. It, it, yeah, I have a hard time. Some of them I can't even get on myself. I try getting my youngest one to help me. Doesn't always happen. All right. I don't see any interest in it. I'm going to pull them away. If there is any interest, just put the price down there. Um, gold filled and real pearl earrings. They're like a half of an inch. All right. I'm going to put them down for a minute. Give me a minute. I am getting hungry. I'm not going to get food, though. I don't really don't need to be eating. Um, all right. Let me see what I have here. All right. Um, but is there anything um, that I sh that anybody would like to see? Any type that I may have? Anything that I've shown that I have? Oh, my back's starting to hurt. Um, yeah, they're pretty. They're cool. What did I do with those little earrings? I put them aside. They're over there. I have this little thing. It's... Okay, it's cool. It's a lion head on there. It's, it looks small. It fits, though. I had it on my wrist. Um, it's two and a half inches across. Brass. And this is like... Put on there you see how it's put on there i'll show you exactly like how it's made it's two and one half inches it is a lion head has some designs there um hard to get these on for me sometimes but there it's it fits it's not overly see it fits me i'd have to squash it more i'm not going to it's like a seven inch for a seven inch wrist it gets could be a little bit bigger if anybody likes the little lion head I don't know. I'd do this for like 14 bucks if anybody wants the lion head bracelet. It's a, um, I don't know. Somebody made it, obviously. It's kind of cool. I think it's cool. Look at his head. Lisa Stale, she said everything, so it's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. All right, I see Lisa Stale first. Okay, I'll put that in a bag for you, Lisa. Thank you. And hello. <laughs> we call it the lion head. It's cool. I thought it was cool. I don't know, like, where it's, it's, I don't know if somebody made it homemade or not, but it's, I think it's nice. I don't see any writing on them. All right. I was putting this bang on with that one that for Dee Miller. I don't know what she may not want it, but if she doesn't, she can, <laughs> she can just toss it. All right. What else, ladies and gentlemen? I have, I didn't test that. I don't like to like, I have a lot of jewelry laying around me. I, um, Okay. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, I have more gold-filled jewelry. Um, I have some more, a little more sterling. I feel like maybe I should have spent more time preparing. Um, but that is what it is. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying. <laughs> this was in with the, in Asian lots of jewelry that I bought. It has tiger eye on it. Look. What's that? You see the tiger eye? Or is that cat's eye? That looks like cat's eye. A cat's doing something to her hand. 
I think this is nice. Let me measure it and I'll show it to you guys. Okay. Yeah, let me give you guys a price on this. And I I yeah, I'm going to give I'm going to do a giveaway cuz I never do them. I always forget. Um actually, you know, the thousand subscriber giveaway, I I don't know. Do I need to announce that separately, you think? Would that be unfair if I did that in the chat of the people that are here now? I guess I should maybe do that later since who else knows about it, maybe. Well, I don't want to make people mad. But anyways, um yeah, it's stone. It has cat's eye and there's multiple stones here. Um Cornelian, I see, I see like what is that? Bullseye Carnelian? Um, is Susan he's still in here? No, I'm joking. There's a number of different kinds here. And those are gold. I'm going to call those, those are gold tone um, balls. Yeah, I could do it now. I could do it whenever I want. Um, yeah. Okay. So what it is, I'm going to do the giveaway now that I was going to do with everybody that's here. You guys are my, you know, here right now with me. And then what I'm going to do is... I'll announce that in a minute. We'll start it, okay? This is, um, anybody wants this, it's 20 bucks if they want it. It's multiple stones on there, different types. Yeah, yeah, I think I could do it now. I don't think anybody will be overly upset about that. Um, it's always good to do them spontaneous. It's still being done. But 20 bucks on this, if anybody wants it, you just say 20 and i see Haley first there all right so what i'm doing is i've been thinking about how i'm gonna do this and i wanted to do some kind of trivia but i don't know if i can really do that because i haven't prepared for it um <laughs> how i'm gonna do it is um i'm gonna have i'm gonna do the number thing i guess we have 40 there's um, there's 44 people in here so i could do like um and if somebody could help me like um dawn if you could help me and if Mitt, are you still in here? I don't know. A couple of you guys helped me find whoever says the number first. I think I'm just going to do it that way. It's spontaneous. I'll write the numbers down ahead of time. What I'm doing, it's going to be my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I probably should have announced that in the beginning, but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is, uh, It'll be five $20 gift certificates, okay? And you win, win once. Yeah, I meant, can you help me track in the chat who says the number first? And if Dawn will. Yeah, that's fine. We help me track who says it first. Okay, so I'm going to write the numbers down ahead of time. There will be five numbers. And I, well, yeah, I'm going to do numbers. It's fair for everybody. So I will say like a number one to 50. If you could tell me if you notice, well, you can be in it. Never mind. You don't have to help me. Help me. You can. Oh. Oh, you're right. <laughs> okay, guys, never mind. Um, I got to do it on my own, I guess. I, I don't want to do that. It's, let me get back on YouTube. It's too hard um, to do that and try to do this. Okay, so I will say, let me write the numbers then, okay? Um, there will be five of them. So whoever, I'm, I'm going to have five numbers. Whoever gets them um, Gets the twenty dollar gift certificate, okay? Um, and that is my giveaway for my thousand subscribers. It's very spontaneous, I know that. But um, okay, so it's one, two, three, four, and five. Um, let me think of what I want to put this as. Okay, so I have five numbers written down. You can do it if you want to. You're allowed to, Mint. Um, you're you're allowed to. Okay. So here we go. I have them here, guys. Um, all right. So I have 44 people in the chat. So I guess it can be one, two, let's say 50. Let me see what numbers I picked before I say that. Oh, my goodness. What's wrong with me? Um, I'm tired. Can you tell? Yeah. Um, numbers between one and uh, one between. One in 55. I only have 42 people in the chat, right? Between one and 55, just start scrolling them down, and I'll let you know 
uh, when I see him in and call it out. Uh, well, that's not good. Okay, we're going to do one at a time, okay? So, okay. Go ahead. I'll do one at a time. Whoa. Oh, Lord. It's coming fast. Anna's not used to this. Um, so, for the first one that I picked out, I'll tell you when I see it. I'm trying. Lord, I don't see it yet. Um, Lord of mercy, am I missing it? Okay. Yeah, it just it doesn't matter if it's a repeat or not. Just get, keep spitting the numbers out. Um, and when I see it, the first one that I have in my hand, I will tell you. Let me see if I missed it. Give me a minute. Um, <laughs> God, it's a lot of numbers. Um. I'm getting old. Is this? All right, I'm moving along, trying to see if I see it. Um, I don't see it yet. Oh, my Lord. Okay, Haley, number 32. That was the first one. I see Haley with it first, number 32. Okay, you see that? She was the first one with it. Am I correct on that, guys? Can you make sure I'm not wrong, 32? Um, if you don't mind, I'm looking to make sure. I believe Haley was the first one on that. Okay, so one winner... I just one certificate, if you don't mind. I think it to make it fair for everybody else. But I see Haley first at thirty, th the only thirty-two actually. If I'm wrong on that, someone point it out to me. Okay, so Haley, you get um, congratulations. You get twenty bucks. It's a twenty-dollar gift certificate that you can put towards your purchase. You already purchased something, right? So, okay, all right. So we'll do it again. Um, again, I only have forty-two people in here, so. I'm going to do it five times. I'm just going to do it that way. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Let me send this to you. All right, I'm going to have Dawn help me on this one. Um, okay, so again, now we only have 40. Um, how many people we have in here? We have 41. So again, between 1 and, one and 50. 1 and 50. How's that? Between 1 and 50, start putting them in, and we'll see whoever gets it first. Um, did you get that, Dawn? You got it, right? Between 1 and 50. All right, guys. Oh, my, a lot came up at one time. You're welcome, Haley. Thank you. You're, you deserve it. All right, I don't see it yet. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up her. I'm looking on my phone because it's easier. Dawn, if you see it, you can yell that out that you do. Well, type it out. I, I don't. Okay, Karen F. Karen F., I see it was a number four. The next one I was doing was four. So, Karen F. So twenty dollars certificate gift certificate towards your purchase. Thank you. Oh, let me put your name on this, Haley. Okay, so it's Karen. Karen had the number four first. I put her name on. I'm very sloppy. I didn't even make up certificates, but there we go. So we're gonna do it three more times. Okay, so we got Karen and Haley. Only one win, guys. Okay. Oh, you did? Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I have my device open here. Um, 
looking on here, it's easier for me to look. Okay, so we'll start again. Now we have 45 people. All right, guys, you can stop now. Are you guys done? Okay, uh, there's a delay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, Next, one between 1 and 50 again, because I don't have 50 people. Is that over now? Oh, I have a delay. Okay, okay. Wow, there's a big delay on my phone. All right, are we done? You're welcome, Haley and um and Karen. All right, let's stop. Um, for the end, do you think think I should do that? All right, let's stop now. Actually, guys, <laughs> wait. Um, I'm wondering. Wow, there's still numbers coming up. Hold on, hold on a minute. I didn't pick the number. Stop for a minute, guys. Please, I'm sorry. I will do one more, but. I haven't been looking. Can we start over again? Or wait, maybe I... Ugh, good God, Anna. All right. All right, we just keep going. Doug, I see Doug at... Uh, at 41. The next one. And I'll hold on to the other two. Yeah, I think I should. I didn't type stop in. I'm sorry, but we can stop. Um, I was just saying it out loud. So Doug at 40, it was number 41, and Doug was the first one to put that in. Is that correct? The second, the third run here? Yeah. Yeah, it was Doug. All right. So it is, um, a tw again, 20 bucks. Yeah, I'll wait for the rest of them. Hopefully I don't get a bunch of mad subscribers like, why didn't you include me in it? That's okay. All right, so you guys each have 20 bucks you can spend. If you don't spend money tonight, I will allow, you know, these these will be good throughout the entire month of March. How's that? Um, okay. Or whenever. Whenever you want to spend it. I'll keep track of when you spend it or not. Um, I'm not going to put a deadline on it. I'm sorry, Dawn. I, they, they start typing. Yeah, I'll wait on the other two. Um, all right, let me start showing you guys some more stuff. I feel like I... I don't know. I, I'll go for a little bit longer. Um, you're welcome. Um, I've been, I may be on it another time or day because I feel like I was completely unprepared today and I don't like that. Um, but it's okay. I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> yeah. I didn't announce the thousand subscriber giveaway. I mean, I did, but I didn't really want it. I, I told them it, I mean, it could be spontaneous. Um, I didn't want to make like just a video out of it. Yeah, you, I'm sure you did, Haley. You, you usually do. Thank you <laughs> for your business. I appreciate it. Um, oh, I have a Swarovski bracelet. What about that? Ooh, it's an already look. It's nice. I'll go. I'm gonna go for a little bit. Well, how long? I've been on two and a half hours. Um. Ah, for this. Um, I typically like two and a half hours is a long, it's, it's a long time to actually go on. So at another auction, there will be two more offered since I said I would do five. I probably will, um, do this and, and I will do them maybe tomorrow. I'm probably going to come on again tomorrow. Maybe when I get myself one more prepared, um, Tuesday, what is Tuesday? Early in the day, nobody's feet that I'll step on that, you know. Anyways, uh, do you guys want to see a Swarovski? It's crystal, obviously. They they always are. It's gold tone. Looks plated, actually. Um, look at the class. Fold over class. I'll measure it. Yeah, I will be doing two more. I'll do those tomorrow, guys, when I come. I'm going to come back on, like, uh, 11 o'clock or something during the day tomorrow. I'm going to get myself a little more prepared than what I did today. Typically, I measure in everything I'm at. It, um, I mean, those of you who have watched me know that it's it was a it was a rough day. So seven and a half inches on this. I think it's very lovely. It's um, Swarovski. This one's there on this tag. I think I showed it to you. Um, you see that? That's nice. 
Yeah, I feel like the research on things, I, I limited myself. I did not prepare where I should have. But anyways, this one I will do at, um, I'll do it for 30 bucks if anybody's interested in it. I'm not showing it real well. Let me put it on a neck for you. A different Swarovski. I was going to do trivia, and then I was like, I don't even have a trivia game for the uh, giveaway. The number thing's fun, I think, and it's it's uh, it's feasible. Yeah, um, wow, and it just did that again. Yeah, yeah, well, there are crystals on here, but there are gold tone balls as well, like, I've seen, um, well, it depends, I think. Um, they do have, like, the strands that are mainly just links of these crystal pieces. But this one has balls on it as well. All right, I'll hold on to that. I will probably, um, well, oh, it's been two and a half hours. I, I think I'm going to end it. I'll be back. I don't have to end on a sale. I don't think it's necessary. Um, to me, it's not. So, Doug, whenever you are ready, uh you can spend it. Haley and Karen, I didn't sell to Karen here, so Doug, I, I'll hold on to yours. I'm going to have a list on my wall of who has this, this little certificates. And tomorrow when I come back on, guys, I will I will do the other two um, just to break it up a little bit, you know, to split it up, because I am going to come back on tomorrow probably around. Um, I will be on here around, I'll come on at noon Eastern time. That's my time. That'll give me time to prepare myself a little bit better. Like I said, it was a crazy day and I, I mean, I prepared a, somewhat, but I feel like I could have prepared better about things. I love you too, Mick. Good night. Do you have the gold filled filigree? Yeah, I do. Let me show that to you since you're, and then I'll go. Are you talking about this? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Dawn. I need to try to make it funner. I'm starting to get very mundane there. Yeah, yeah. You can even use it at Thrifty Thursday as well. Um, if you buy from there. Here it is. Is this it? Somebody asked me about this. Is this the one you're talking about? Or are we talking about the one of the gemstone that I don't know what it is? <laughs> like so terrible. I know it's a stone. Was this the one? It says gold filled. It's 120. One slash 20, 12 karat gold. And it is, um, it's nice. It's like, it's a two inch pin approximately there. I feel unprepared somewhat, which is terrible of me. I, I never am. You guys know that, that know me. My, okay. Anyways, okay. It's gold filled. It's like two inches. Let me measure it for you in case you want to know. And I'll give you a price on it and you can buy it if you want it um who was it that asked me about that deb and g hi hi deb did you just get here i don't all right it's like an inch and a half and it is gold filled i would uh, i'll sell it for 28 if you're interested it's nice i can feel my stomach jump and it's terrible with that pain that i get when I sit for, I need to get up and stretch. I need to start doing yoga or something. It's, I don't know. I think it's a terrible posture. Okay. So, um, that's okay. I don't need to end on it. Okay, Deb, I did end on a sale. All right, Deb, thank you. Um, I'm going to hang these up. I, I'll be back tomorrow, guys. Come back on. Um, I will be well rested and everything will be more prepared <laughs> tomorrow. Um, I'm going to come on at noon. Hi, hi, Deb, at my noon, noon my time. It's Eastern time, noon, 12 p.m. Eastern time. You're welcome, Deb. It's, it's nice. I have some nice earrings, too. I, I can show you later if you want to see them. Um, Goldfield's nice. Goldfield's worth more than sterling. I know that. All right, guys. Good night, and thank you. Thank you for being here. You'll be at the dentist. All right. Um, 
I'm glad you got this then. I'll probably be on for like two hours tomorrow. All right, let me end this. Thank you. Bye.